Welcome soulmates to the Honest Fashion Academy. My name is Justice. So for us to draft this cupped corset, this is the beginning. We're going to first of all measure the length of our um, half length, which is our waist. Now in this case, the waist is not going to be exactly where it should be. I needed the waist to be more enhanced. So I dropped it down by 2 inches. So instead of 17 being our waistline, I took 19. That will make the shape to have more fit, um, enhanced, um, good looking. Whichever way. So I marked the waistline, the under bust, and the bust point. Okay, so I'm going to rule them across. What I mean is that it's going to make the, the waist to look slimmer. Okay, so we have the bust, we have the under bust, and we have the waistline. Okay. So at the top here, I'm going to measure um, shoulder divided by 2, which is 8. I'll mark the shoulder point. And then for the front, this is the front, I'm going to drop it down by 1.5. Okay, this is the length of the armhole, which is 9 inches. Right? I used 9 inches. For you to get your armhole, you need to divide your bust by 6 plus 1.5. Of course, you should know what your armhole measurement is. So, like I said, I dropped the shoulder by 1.5 inches and mark. Then the width of the neckline, I used 3 inches for a basic neckline. Okay, and then connect the two lines together for the shoulder drop down. The depth of the neckline is 3 inches. The depth of the neckline is 3 inches and you use your French curve. You can use your free hand for I decide to use French curve to connect the lines together to give you a very nice look. Okay, this class is gradually, gradually, gradually. Just pay attention until you get what you have to get. So, bust divide by 4. I'm going to mark the bust divide by 4. The bust here is 39. Divide by 4, whatever it gives you, you mark. Still mark the same thing where the armhole measurement stops. Okay? Where the armhole measurement stops, still mark the same thing. And connect the lines. So we're finding the midpoint of the armhole lens to connect it to our armhole curve. The midpoint, and then we go in by 0 0.75. Go in by 0 0.75, and then use your um, ruler to connect to the up like so and then use your curve to connect um, the way you're seeing it I believe you can see it very clearly connect it the way it is okay we bring it down to the bust um, line If you've not subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. It matters a lot. And I implore you to watch till the end so that you can get the best out of this video. Now our underboss divided by 4. We will mark the underboss here is around 31.75. Right? Or 31 and a half thereabouts. And then divide the waist into two, into four rather, and mark. Okay, so we've gotten all the points for the waist, the under bust, and the bust line. Right? Then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our dart. After taking the dart, we'll now add it back and connect our lines. So for us to take our dart, we need to mark our bust pan, which is nipple to nipple measurements. 
here is 3.75 so we're going to be marking 3.75 on a straight line from the bust to the under bust and to the waist this is going to be a gown so we're stopping at the waistline to continue from there down to where the skirt is going to stop so we're going to mark a straight line as you've seen and now we're going to do the that intake for the under bust now for this um bust um measurement i'm going to be taking two points um two one quarter two inches and one quarter so on this side i marked one and a half inch on the other side i marked 0 0.75 okay all together will be two one quarter so i'm marking the same thing on the waistline because i need it to be on a straight line i'll still take my actual measurement so just rule it on a straight line it will help to give you more flattered um tummy okay So I'm going to use the curve now. You can see the way I place the curve from the bust point and connect it. Just follow the same way of placing this curve the way it is. Then turn it to the other side and place it the same way. You can see that I did not come down by one inch or go up by one inch. The curve is going to make it possible for you not to be the bust point, not to look pointy. Right. So we've taken our under bust tightening. The next thing we're going to do is to take our upper bust tightening. Now, in this case, you can decide to go straight or decide to take it from the shoulder line. Now, for you to get the, the place of your um, cuff, okay, you have to make sure that you take your measurement from the under bust down to where you feel like your bust is going to be covered, even if you have the biggest of bust. From the under bust, take it to where you feel comfortable to cover your bust. If you want it to be open, if you want it to be fully covered, measure it. Now, whatever you measure from your under bust down to where you feel like this is where I want my bust to be covered up to, measure from the under bust to that point. Right? So here I took about 8 inches from the under bust. And then rule a straight line. Okay, so here this is where our upper bust tight tightening is going to take place, and this is where our cup is going to stop. Right? So whatever we have as our um bust pan we're going to mark it at the upper part this is just one method rule it on a straight line then another method is for you to divide your shoulder into two and then connect it to the bust point whichever way you use it will still it's still going to give you a very nice look the difference is that the front part it might look smaller or the sewing coming to the front part but whichever way it is going to come out very beautiful okay so i'm just showing you in case you can choose any which way you want to follow it's either you take it from the midpoint of your shoulder down to the bust point or you rule a straight line and still do the, do the normal 
tightening that you want to do for your under upper bust. So I'm using the straight line. Now for the upper bust tightening, we're going to be taking one inch on both sides. One inch on both sides and we're going to be connecting it to the bust point. You can choose to use a straight line, you can choose to use a very slight curve, okay? So that you can actually be able to match them together to give your cup the style line that you want to give it. So what we have there is two inches, right? So what we're going to do to make sure that we don't run out of shortage, you have to measure your either your bra strap to strap. In most cases, it's usually five inches of fold. Or if you want it to be completely off, you can take um, five and a half. Six inches is for a very big person. So once you measure that, skipping, okay, this is how to take your strap to strap measurements or where you want the um, off shoulder to be, either straight on the um, shoulder line or fall off the shoulder line. So here I'm, I'm taking 5.5 for the width of my upper chest, okay, that is on fold. So while taking this measurement, you're going to skip the tightening that you've taken and take your measurement down to wherever it stops. So this stops exactly at the armhole line. In some cases too, it might exceed the armhole line. So you still add whatever you have um, after the armhole line and it will still be okay. Okay? So that is where my curve is going to be, it might even pass that armhole a little. So like this now, you can take, you can cut your um, bust here, okay, your bust here, whichever one, like this, you can cut your bust here. If you want to continue with the corset, the um, cupped corset or cupped bust here, this is when you can also do it. So whatever we have as the tightening, we are adding it back because if you don't, your measurement is going to be quite smaller by the amount of the tightening. So whatever we have as our tightening, we add it back to our usual um, normal measurement except for the bust point, which we did not take anything out. So in some cases, you might just find out that your measurements or your figure might just be looking funny, not curvy. Don't bother. Once you take in the dust, everything is going to come back to normal. So we've not added our sewing allowance. We're going to add sewing allowance when we're cutting on the fabric. Now, at this point, we're going to mark half inch on the CF line, the center front. We're going to mark half inch, which is on fold. When you open, it becomes one inch. In some cases, others might take three quarter of an inch, making it 1.5. But here, I choose to mark 0 0.5 on a straight line. So follow me as I mark the same thing. This video is well well explained. Just become patient and you will get the best out of it. Why most of us do not get what seems to be very simple to others is because we lack patience. We lack so much patience. We don't want to continue to watch. We don't want to listen. We believe that we've gotten something and that is it. So if you want to get the best out of it, watch till the end patiently even if you don't understand watch it again and you are going to understand so for the depth of our um 
the, the depth of our neckline we're also going to measure from the under bust or you can take it from your neckline base to wherever you want it to be and that is what i've marked that is where i want the depth maybe a sweetheart neckline that is where i want the depth of the sweetheart to be right so from where my cup is i'm going to connect the sweetheart neckline down to the depth of the neckline so i will use my cuff and connect to the depth of the neckline like this good i used pencil here but i will still use a marker to highlight it so that you see it properly So you can see what it looks like like i said before your bustier blouse is very very ready even if you don't want to do the cutout it's ready the way it is okay you're off shoulder now for our cupped corset our cupped bustier we're going to measure for a bigger person you might measure from the bust point to the um um behind or towards the side of the bust to know where the cup is actually going to be it's actually where your bra line um is your bra cup stops by the side you can measure it to know what measurement you're going to take on this from the bust point to that point but in, on a normal day, you want to measure 1.5 inch from the side, just the way I'm marking. 1.5 inch from the side, and that is where the curve for the cup is going to be taken. You can see the way I'm placing the curve to that 1.5 I took from the side. And I'll connect to that point too good i'll still take it up to my armhole area then on this part to the curve is starting from the under bust to the 0 0.5 inch line not exceeding the 0 0.5 inch line okay you can just see the way i placed it not exceeding the 0 0.5 inch line it stops at that 0 0.5 as you can see so this is where our curve is going to be now this is our cupped bustier or cupped corset if you're adding structure to it of course we're going to be adding structure to this and this is a cupped corset bustier corset so the line that went down to the waistline we're no longer going to use it our cutout is just going to be from the under bust the way we've connected the lines So we're going to cut open and cut out our pieces. Now that upper part becomes our yoke. You can decide to change the neckline or give it any shape that you want. Now for the back, the drafting of the back is not difficult. I've drafted the back already. So I just need to explain to you what happened at the back or what happens at the back which is not difficult to understand now i've drafted the back pattern 
taken in my usual um darts for the waistline and then the CB dart too to avoid bulging at the back when I insert the the zipper. So for the back we're going to do a little tightening and I'm going to take the dart line straight up to the same line at the front for my um, upper bust tightening. So the off shoulder line is just going to be at the same point both front and back. I'm tightening the back by 0 0.5. So I'm marking 0 0.25 on both sides of the line, which will equal 0 0.5. And I'll connect it to the dust leg. On both sides. So like this, we're gradually coming to um, the finished part of our corset drafting. Now remember the width of our neckline in front, which was 5.5. So we're still going to measure the same 5.5 at the back, exceeding the 0 0.5 that intake. And wherever that stops, that is where our armhole line is going to begin. So you can see where it stops. And we're going to connect our armhole to our normal armhole. Now for the back two, you can choose to... Um, give the neckline uh, a shape and I'm coming down by 0 0.5 to give it a little shape at the back yeah just a very slight curve so that it doesn't hang up when I close the dart So like this, we're almost, almost down, almost, almost done. So what is left is our bust dart. And the difference between the back length and the front length is what we're going to use as our bust dart. The difference here is two inches. So we're going to be marking two inches from the bust line to where the two inches stops. And we'll connect from the bust point to that part. Even if you tie your waistline from back to front, their measurements are not going to be the same because you measure from the, the front shoulder and measure from the back shoulder, their measurements are not going to be the same. So whatever you have at this, as the difference becomes your bust tightening. If you don't want to have the bust tightening, you can slightly trim it at the side so that the front and back side can match up together. So what we're going to do next is to cut out, um, to close our bust darts. We're going to cut open and close the bust darts. If you close the bust darts, you're going to notice that some parts might not align together. So it's you just use your hands to make them correspond. Yeah, very slightly make them correspond. So, brothers and sisters, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please and please, what are you waiting for? Subscribe for more interesting videos coming your way weekly in two days time in one day time just make know that our videos comes regularly 
So we don't want to use our cup the way it is. We want to give it a style line. We want it to be in three pieces. So put the two together like this and give it a curve. So it becomes three pieces instead of two pieces. You can just use your hand to curve. Good. So we now have one, two, and three. Yeah. And then we'll cut it off. This is just the way it's going to be. So these are all our patterns. And then for the basque at the front, this is what we are going to do. We don't want to um, leave it just the way it is. We want to give it a nice curve. So place, put together and place on a, um, a clean um, paper and use your curve while you've measured the depth of the basque. Okay. Here I measured three and a half inches from the waistline. I can see the way I'm connecting it. Three and a half inches and you give it a very nice curve. You can make it a very sharp V or you can make it in a U form. You can just give it any shape that you want to give it. So here I'm going to do a slight um, round or U shape and connect it to the waist. Um, points by the side okay So I'm going to cut it off and this becomes um, our pattern. If you like, you can cut it open. You can give it different style lines as it is like this, the way you want it. All right. So this is my skirt pattern for the front. And I need to cut off what I've added to the front. good so you need to place it the same way make sure making sure they match up together and then draw that style line that you added to the upper part and cut it off from the skirt part this is just how to go about your um corset basque or corset with basque it is just the style line that is the ingredient in the basque and nothing more I hope you're understanding this. I hope you're following through. Okay? You're using your curve to make it look better. I hope it's calm enough for you to understand. I hope I'm not making you sleep. <laughs> I know this voice can make someone to sleep. But don't sleep. Follow through and get the best out of it. So, brothers and sisters, soulmates and friends, this is where we're going to be stopping at the drafting um, parts. So the sewing is going to continue in the next video. As you can see, we've taken so much time already. So this is just how it's going to look. You can use different fabrics, beautify the way you want. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Give it a thumbs up, like it, share it. All right. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy it. These are all the pieces that we have. And this is the fabric we're going to be using. So see you soon next video.